people love pickleball. And since you clicked on this video, that means you're interested to learn what this whole phenomena is all about. If you stay to this end of this video, you will know everything you need to know to start playing this great game. Hey everybody, my name is CJ Johnson and together with my partner, Tony Roy, we help players of all ages live their best lives on and off the pickleball courts. The reason this sport has exploded is because it's easy to learn and it's so much fun. Now on top of that, it's a very athletic as well as strategic but perhaps the best part of the game is it is extremely social. You don't even have to have a partner to learn how to play. I'm gonna guide you through the things you need to know before you get out on the courts so that you feel confident and comfortable the first time you go to play pickleball. Speaking of courts, welcome to the pickleball court. Now, a pickleball court is the same size as a badminton court. It's 44 feet from the baseline all the way over to the other baseline, and then it's 20 feet across. You'll notice that this area of the court happens to be colored a little bit differently, and there's a line right here. This area is named the non-volley zone, and you'll sometimes hear it referred to as NVZ, the initials, and you'll also hear players call it the kitchen. Now we're going to talk about the kitchen more in just a little bit, but for right now, it's seven feet from this line all the way to the net. Speaking of the net, it's 34 inches in the center, and it's slightly higher at the sideline of the court. There's no court difference for singles or doubles. And unlike tennis, pickleball doubles is the most popular form of the sport. It can be played on asphalt or pickleball can be played inside of your local gym. Pickleball is played with a paddle. Don't call it a racket. Most beginner paddles cost somewhere between 50 and $100, and you'll see paddles go up into the several hundred dollar range. But the good news is many places have paddles that you can use while you're learning to play. The ball will probably remind you of a wiffle ball. It's made from a hard plastic and it doesn't bounce very high, which makes the game challenging. There is a difference between indoor balls and outdoor balls. Outdoor balls are harder plastic, so they are less affected by the wind. And they're easy to tell apart because the outdoor ball has more holes and they're smaller. Let's talk a little bit about what you wanna wear. The most important thing are your shoes. You'll find that pickleball has a lot of lateral movement and shoes such as walking shoes, running shoes, cross training shoes, those are all built for forward motion. When you come to the court, you want a court shoe so that it supports you while you move from side to side. Most often you'll see tennis shoes or basketball shoes, but yes, there are pickleball specific shoes. You'll also want to dress comfortably uh, in some athletic wear. A t-shirt, a pair of shorts, maybe some leggings, a tennis skirt if you happen to come from tennis. Those are all appropriate things to wear at the pickleball court. Anything that's comfortable for you and allows you to move. Let's talk a little bit about the scoring, the rules, and the etiquette that you'll want to know before you hit the courts. Most games are played to 11, win by two. Now the interesting thing is that only the serving team can score points during the game. Let's talk a little bit about line calls. When it comes to the line, if a ball hits the line, the line is considered in. For everything, with the exception of one time, and that's on the serve. The serve must clear 
this line, and of course, the line has the same name as this part of the court. It's the non-volley zone line. So on the serve, and it is only on the serve, the ball must clear the non-volley zone line. Otherwise, all lines are considered in. To begin the game, or after a side out, which is the term that's used when the serve changes side, play always begins on the right side of the court, or what we call the even side. Keep in mind that if the ball hits anywhere on the court, including that line other than the NVZ line on the serve, it is considered in. If it hits outside of the line, so I'm gonna come over here, and it hits on this light green spot over here, that ball is out and it's considered a fault. The rally's now over. Now here's an interesting part about the game and one of the things that makes it so social. When it comes to calling lines, your opponents get the benefit of the doubt. If you cannot clearly see it out, then the ball's considered in. The game begins with the player on the right side of the court serving diagonally to their opponents. Now, unlike tennis, each player on the team only gets one try to get the serve in. Additionally, each player on the team gets a chance to serve with the exception of the very first serve of the game. It's not uncommon for new players to find the way that we call the score in pickleball a bit confusing. So let me help you out just a little bit here. The score in pickleball has three numbers. The first number is my team score when I'm serving. The second number is the return team score or my opponent's score. And the third number is which server I happen to be. Now, don't worry about that. We always have you covered at Better Pickleball. And we've got a scoring video that'll go into more detail so you can feel as comfortable as you like before you hit the courts. And as I said, many of us struggled, myself included, to learn how to keep score. This game is so social that in most places, players will help you to learn to score. So it takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. A good way to think about this when you're calling the score, this is my kind of shortcut, is me, my team score, you, my opponent's score, and who, which server it happens to be. So me, you, and who. There are a couple other rules that you'll wanna be familiar with that will help you to learn the game more quickly. And one of those is called the two bounce rule. The two bounce rule sets the strategic framework for the game. And here's how it works. The serve must bounce once on the receiver side. This means the receiving player cannot hit the ball in the air, or what's called a volley, directly off the serve. Then the ball must bounce once on the serving team side before either of the two players can hit it. This means that after the serve is made, both the serving and receiving teams must play their first shot off the bounce. After these two bounces, one on each side, players may either volley the ball, which again means to hit it out of the air, or play it off the bounce. At the beginning of this video, I told you you were going to hear a lot about this area of the court, the NVZ or the non-volley zone, but more likely players are going to call it the kitchen and they are going to tell you to stay out of the kitchen. What they're referring to is the non-volley zone rule. As the name suggests, you're not allowed to volley, which means hit the ball in the air while standing in or touching the non-volley zone line. However, it's perfectly fine to move into the non-volley zone to play a ball as long as you play the ball off the bounce. Here are a couple of additional etiquette points to help you feel comfortable your first time out. If you're playing and you hear someone holler, ball on, what that means is the ball from an adjacent court is traveling on to your court. 
stop play so you don't trip over that ball. At the end of the game, it's customary for all the players to come to the net and tap paddles. It's a way to say thank you for the game. After all, when we're playing doubles, if it wasn't for the other people on the court with you, you wouldn't be able to play the game. So it's a nice social way to say thank you. As I mentioned in the beginning, don't worry about having to find a partner. Most areas have something called rec play. And all that is is a time, a predetermined time, where the players show up at the courts and they all get together to play. You rotate your partners and it's a great way to meet other pickleball players. Many players have used pickleball to lose weight, change their activity levels, and to meet new friends. So if you're ready to get out on the court, I have got that scoring video right over here and I have a free beginner guide and video court to help you to find places to play. So if you're ready to play this great game of pickleball, leave a thumbs up in the comments below and we'll see you out on the pickleball courts.